I want to thank you so much for coming over here and responding to my cry for help. I know I've learned a lot, and Tim, you probably learned a little something. Oh, yeah. So, Absolutely. You're I'm welcome. so happy. I can't even tell you. I'm You're welcome. So pleased. It's great to be able to help the horses. <laughs> Absolutely. Robert, what is up with that hat? Ah, the hat. Yeah, it's a good story behind the hat. Well, at one point I realized that we had the opportunity to solve this problem that we weren't taking. So the process here is we've got literally millions of horses getting injured in the process. We've got literally millions of consumers who are buying saddles that don't fit who are spending probably more money on their saddles than they do for their horses. And it's a violation of a whole series of laws that are already in place. We don't need any new laws. I mean, j just as an example, when these companies say that their saddles fit when they make these ads, mm. they have to have a reasonable basis for it. In the United States, you don't just say something. You have to have some data backing it up. It's called reasonable basis. Well, if you don't have that, it's a violation of Section 5 of the Federal Trade Commission Act. First problem. Then you go to the tax store and you actually buy the saddle. And they say, well, you know, I've never had a problem with saddle fitting. All the saddles that we sell fit. Whatever story that they say, it doesn't matter what the story is. And that now is outright fraud because if they know the saddle does not fit and they sell it to you, that's fraud. If they don't know, they had responsibility to know because in the United States you have a responsibility to know your job and if you don't know it and you then deceive somebody that's fraud. So then you buy the saddle, you go out and you try it on your horse and it no longer fits and you take it back and you whine and say that the saddle doesn't fit and they say well you can't return the saddle because the stirrup leathers actually have marked the, the side of the saddle. So. That is a violation of 2-315 of the Uniform Commercial Code, which is an implied warranty for fitness. That if you buy a product in the United States, there is an implied warranty that you can use it for whatever it is. You buy a flashlight, you can use it as a flashlight. You can't use it as a hammer, but you can use it as a flashlight. If you can't use the saddle, you get a refund. So then we have the next stage is that this whole process is all of these companies are in on the same game, you've actually got a racketeering issue going on that when a number of companies come into collusion, that's called a racket. So now you have RICO statutes going into line. On top of that, we have the Horse Protection Act, that horses should not be injured. However the process you go by injuring them, it's not proper. So we have all of these issues legally that are happening. Now there's a solution to this. And what has happened is that the Department of Commerce set up a system where you can have a voluntary product standard. It's really a trippy little number. Is that a group of people, you, me, a couple of saddle makers, you know, we could get a whole group together and we can petition the Department of Commerce through the Institute of Standards and Technology to do a voluntary product standard. And when that happens is that we say that if the leather comes it has this quality, the wood has this quality, these factors are, and you can set a standard, whatever you want. If you want it for wood, if you want it for textiles, you can have anything you want. We can actually have that. So I put that forth about three years ago, but everybody said, oh, no way, we can't have the government involved. So my thought is, is that what we really do is we need to send the cavalry in, and that's what the hat's about, is that this situation is so insane that we need to bring in the cavalry. And that's what the hat's about. It's a, it's, it's a visualization that people can understand that, hey, we're injuring our horses, the people are getting ripped off from buying products that are defective, and the only people who are benefiting are the saddle makers. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying somebody has to stand up against the tank. I'm standing up against the tank and saying this is wrong. It is abusive to the animals, and measurement protects the animals. I'm sick and tired of this saddle business, <laughs> but you have made it pleasant for me today. And well, I just want to thank you, because now I know that there is a solution to my dilemma. 
Well, and we're also helping the horses. I mean, it's on their backs that we're riding, literally. I mean, it falls on their shoulders, and we don't take the responsibility to take care of them. It's really hurting them. Like what are we going to do with all our time now? We're not trying to fit saddles. 